So the problem that we have here is really simple. All we have to do is to take the configuration in problem 2.16 and to find the potential difference between a point on the outer cylinder with a point in, on the axis. So the way we do this is that we find the electric, uh, the electric field of this configuration. Now this is what we obtained for problem 2.16. So I'll assume you already know this answer. So starting from this, how do we find the potential? So the potential we want to find is from a point on the outer cylinder between a point on the axis. Well, using the definition of potential difference, we can write out this integral. And then judging from how the electric field uh, behaves, we can actually split up this integral. So from 0 to A, the electric field is going to behave like this. So you get rho s divided by 2 epsilon ds. And then from a to b, it's going to behave like this. So we change it to a square rho 2 epsilon s ds. And then we're essentially done. All we have to do is just to solve this rather simple integral. So here we get a square over 2. It's just simple integration. And here we get these constants times natural log b over a. So that's just a simple integral. So we can group these terms together to, to kind of clean up our answer. So we can pull out the a square as well. So you get 1 half plus natural log b over a. So there you have it. This is the answer. This is the answer.